Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. I have some really cool updates for you guys. And this again has something to do with the integration between Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365. So I'm gonna show you how we can now actually share Dynamics 365 records in like an adaptive card inside of a Microsoft Teams chat message. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how you can actually save a chat as a note or a task in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this feature doesn't really have an on and off setting. You can actually start using this in production immediately. The only thing you need to make sure of is that the Dynamics 365 app for Teams is installed here in Teams, and then you can start using this. So I, you can see here, I'm on a new chat here with Chris, and there's a couple of ways of how I can show that Dynamics 365 data inside an adaptive card here in the chat. So the first way, the easiest way probably, is to just go ahead and copy and paste the URL to a Dynamics 365 record. And you can see it now immediately creates that card here, that adaptive card in Dynamics 365. And then once I send that, then the user can either open the record in Dynamics 365 or they can view the details directly here inside of the Dynamics 365 app in Teams. So let me just go ahead and click on view details here. And you can see I don't have to leave the Teams chat, I can just pull up this record directly from my Teams chat. Now, another way of bringing those Dynamics 365 cards inside of this Teams chat message is to click here on the ellipse, and then by clicking on the Dynamics 365 app, and then you'll notice I can start searching for records, but it's also showing me my most recent records directly here below the search box. So let's say I want to pull in uh, Angel's information. And you can see here content will be displayed after view record. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I got to go to the main form. So let's click on view record now. And here we go. Now we have a contact card in Dynamics 365. The other cool thing that you can do from here is if I have a message, this is a Teams message, right? Maybe Chris is asking me to do something to follow up. And what I could do from here is from this particular message, I can now create a Dynamics 365 record, like a note or a task. So you're going to click here on more actions. And again, you're going to click on add to Dynamics 365. And by default, it will load this note form, right? So I can set this regarding something if I wanted to. Let's just go ahead and say we're looking for Angel again. And I'm going to do a title, test notes from Teams. And then you can see it actually posts the content of the message and the link to that chat directly in here as well. And then I can save that. If you would rather create a task, then obviously you can click here on add as task. And now you can go ahead and save that task to Dynamics 365. Now you're probably going to wonder, okay, well, I only see three fields here. So can I add fields to this card? Yes, you can definitely do that. So let me show you how you can do that. So you're going to go to make.powerapps.com. Make sure you select the correct environment. And then obviously you can navigate to the table that you want to modify. So I'm going to go to contacts and here's my contact table. 
and we want to go to views because that's actually where these fields are being pulled from. They're actually being pulled from the quick find view. So you would have to go here to this quick find active context view. And then you would add some view columns here. And you can see I already did that. And that should then show up in that card as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.